Hello there guys, it is Maxo Diddley here, and today I'm here with another Java tutorial to help you give that A in your coursework. And today we're here with Validating the Password Part 2. So if you haven't watched Part 1, be sure to click the I up there, where we go over basic password validation. However, the passwords aren't very secure if you're using that validation method. So you want to use what I'm doing in this tutorial to make your passwords a lot more secure. So when the user creates their account, they have to have a special character in the passwords, as that does make a password a lot more secure. However, this could propose an issue, as a space character is classed as a special character. And luckily, a viewer has requested that we validate to check if there is a space in the password or not. So we're also going to be doing that, as well as checking if there's a special character. So thank you, Technologi. Thanks for the request, mate. It means a lot. Also, if you have a request for a tutorial, be sure to leave it down in the comments below. I will give you a shout out if I use your request. And I probably will use your request because I'm not popular yet. So uh, there won't be many requests. So it's, a, it's I'm guaranteed to cover your topic very soon. So let's get right into the video. So we got our password here. Not very secure. Firstly, we're going to check if there's a space character. And by the way, if there's a space character, the password's going to be invalid. So I'll do public static boolean is space they want to do string password string passwords will just take the value of whatever password we pass into the method now we want to do a for loop with an if statement inside so i'm going to write it out first then tell you what's going on so we want to do for char current char colon Password dot to char array. Then inside the for loop, one do if if character dot is white. If I can type space current char. Uh, right, guys, make sure you have a lowercase s that is white space. Don't put an uppercase like me for some reason. Then we'll do return true. And underneath the for loop, we'll do return false. Make sure there's a semicolon there. There is the code, guys. Sorry for all the typos. So what is this actually doing? So we got a for loop, and basically what we're going to be doing is we are converting our password into a character array, which basically every single element of this array shall contain one character from the password that the user inputted and basically we're going to loop through that whole array and check if the current character we're looking at is nothing it's basically a white space which is a built-in java method to check in okay is there nothing here if there's nothing there then clearly we found a white space so we have to return true if we successfully loop through this array and don't find a single white space we're going to return false at the very end as there are no white spaces, therefore is white space should be false. So just to re-clarify, we create our character variable and we are converting every character in our string to a character array. And then we're going to, and for each iteration of the loop, current char will take whatever value of the array index we're looking at. And then we pass it into the is white space method to check if it's a white space or not. If it's a white space, return true. If it's not, we return false. That's how the method works. Hopefully that works. Now we're going to quickly do our, our check for if there is um, a special character. So I'm going to do public static. If I can type, boolean has special character string password. Because we're obviously going to be taking in the uh, password. So we're going to call it password because, you know, easier to read. Now we want to make a pattern object. So we do pattern, s pattern, and we are, we're going to type it like that, equals pattern dot compile. Then you're going to copy paste this pattern in, inside these brackets. Don't worry, it'll be in the description. Then you want to right click on pattern, click on fix imports. Underneath that, you want to do matcher s matcher equals s pattern dot matcher password. 
Now you want to right click on match it and click on fix imports. So you guys might be wondering, okay, what do these two lines of code actually do? So the, this, this constructor method for a pattern is basically creating a pattern object that we can use to detect if a string has no special characters. And, and then matcher is basically an object that tries to match a pattern to a particular string. Just think of it like Tinder, but it actually works. If there's a match, then, the, then the, they're going to stay together forever. Unlike Tinder where, you know, there's a match and then you never talk to each other after five minutes. Because relationships don't last on Tinder. Because Tinder's stupid. And now I'm going to show you how we can actually use this. We're going to do if... If not... S matcher dot matches return true. Otherwise, return false. And that's all we do. So just to clarify what this method does again, we create a pattern object. This pattern object will store a pattern and we can interact with this pattern object and, ma and try and pass strings into it to see if the string matches the pattern or not. The matcher object is what passes the string into the pattern to check if there's a match, just like Tinder. Uh, but it works. Matcher.matches is basically checking, okay, is there a match? And we're saying if, if the pattern doesn't match the string, because if for the string to not match this pattern, it needs to contain a special character. So we can do that to check if there's a special character. Since this means there's a special character, we return true as has special character is the name. And it makes sense to return true. If there is no special character found, then clearly the pattern matches, so we can just return false. Now we're going to call the method. So we're going to do um, system.out.println has special character. I'm going to pass in pass password. So this should return false because there are no special characters. As you can see, it outputs it false because a b zero nine two one one two one three four has no special characters. If we put an exclamation mark in there, it returns true because there's a, there is a special character in there. Now we're going to call our other form of validation system dot out dot print ln is space and we're going to pass in password so we want the second uh, word that's printed out in our java project to say false as there are no spaces and it says false as there are no spaces however if we were to put in a false no a space in our password it should say true which implies it works because it found the space. Anyway, guys, I hope that tutorial helped. Be sure to leave a like in the comments if you enjoyed and subscribe for more. And together, we can all get an A in our coursework or exams or just get better at coding. Thanks for being a great audience and we'll see you next time.